Good morning, Cancer. This is going to be your reading. Um, <coughs> sorry. I had every intention of getting this done already, but I took a really nasty fall Friday. And um, I've been nursing a sprained ankle and um, a skinned up leg, so I've been in pretty bad shape. And then I've had a lot of things going on as well. But anyhow, I said, let me get on with this cancer reading and all of your cards fell out at one time. So imagine that. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to pull an energy oracle card. Energy Oracle. And my fortune telling cards. <coughs> Why I'm getting choked up today. Romance Angels. My fairy cards. Vampires. A vampire card for my cancer friends. And which is Oracle. <coughs> which is Oracle. first card that I have is the strength card. <clears throat> so basically what I'm getting here is that you have to have the strength um, to do what it is that you're guided to do. Um, I feel like um, you are being guided to do something and you know what this is and if not this is something that's going to come up. <clears throat> this is taking some kind of action, making some kind of move. Um, this could be in the area of romance or um, employment. Maybe you're trying to get your own place. Maybe you're a little scared right now about making changes. Changes are difficult. Um, but the guidance that's coming through is that this is what you're supposed to do. That's the reason why you're being guided to do it. Um, you just really have to find the courage to do it um, because we have this action card. <clears throat> and this is definitely um, an energy of moving forward. Um, this is, you know, of course, we never go backward anyway. Um, but, you know, sometimes we are divinely guided to sit still. Um, this is not that energy. This is actually um, needing to take some steps to um, make some changes in your life. And these are being divinely guided. And if you've been wondering if you should do this, whatever it is, and do take what resonates, um, the answer is yes. <clears throat> um, we have three of pentacles. So yes, I do feel like this has to do with the job. Um, maybe you've been offered um, a position, you know, and I'm getting for some of you um, that this is something that's going to affect your family, maybe. Um,
but you are being divinely guided and supported um, on this endeavor. And if you have not been offered this opportunity, this opportunity is coming. Um, because this does have to do with work, because we got the occupation card. <clears throat> and like I said, change is never easy. I know um, change is really, really hard for me. Um, and so I feel like that's really what's holding you back um, because you're really um, kind of used to things the way that they are and you're scared that you're going to fail. Um, fear of failure. Fear of failure is nothing more than um, fear of loss because you're scared you're going to lose something. <clears throat> things that you've gained, things that you have. Um, and never be scared to lose anything because for whatever is yours, you cannot lose. You just can't. If it's meant to be yours, you can't lose it. And you will know. Um, because <clears throat> if it's something you're not supposed to have, you'll have this tower moment um, where, you know, it'll almost just be stripped away from you. And that's how you know. Um, but don't let fear of failure uh, make you scared to lose anything because, like I said, you can't lose what's yours by divine right. And we have two of cups. This is the coming together of two people. Um, <clears throat> now, maybe for somebody, maybe you're trying to move closer. Maybe you're in a long distance relationship and you're trying to move closer to that person. Um, I'm getting that for someone. And like I said, the answer is yes. Definitely do do that. Take that chance. Um, life is about taking chances. Um, but for someone else, this is definitely coming together um, in a relationship with somebody. Um, you know, this is somebody that you've known for a while. Um, and it's ascending to the next level of intimacy. Because we have the passion card, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, so these feelings are real. And this is a mutual connection. The passion is mutual. Um, I'm getting that this isn't like um, the other relationships, toxic relationships that you've had um, <clears throat> with lots of drama. Um, a lot of times we mistake that for passion. You know when you're with somebody and it's just all this drama and on again, off again. We mistake that for passion and that's not passion. That's toxicity. That's codependency. And so a lot of times when you clear these things out and, you know, you're, you know, still kind of with that person that you were in that toxic relationship with, there's nothing left. Once you clear out those fears and you start setting up boundaries um, there's nothing left. So this is not that type of relationship, though. This type of relationship is because you have done your work and you've attracted a higher vibrational partner. And this is a mutual connection. And we have Ten of Wands. And I'm getting um, an energy of preparation with this. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times we will do all this planning, all this um, making sure all of our ducks are in a row just because we want to be so careful. We want to be so cautious so that, you know, there's a certain amount of cautiousness to this card too. Um, like I said, life is about taking chances and you will not have, um, deeper, more meaningful connections unless you're vulnerable, unless you're open, unless you put yourself out there. Um, so do let your guard down. I know it's scary. <laughs> You know, even when you let your guard down and things don't work out, trust me, I know. At least you have um, had a more meaningful um, connection. And um, just think about what you would miss out on if you didn't go all in. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. So whatever it is you've been trying to, you know, you've been setting your intention and trying to consciously manifest, possibly by watching these videos, that wish is granted. It's already yours. Um, <clears throat> I've been learning a lot about God, source, energy, um, the universe, the divine, whatever you want to call. 
um, God um, and how to pray. A lot of times we'll pray and we'll like beg for things. And you don't want to ask the universe or God for anything because when you do that, you acknowledge you don't have it. And so what experience are you going to have? You're going to have the experience of not having what it is that you want. What you want to do is thank, you know, in your prayers and your meditations, be thankful and have gratitude for the things that are yours that you haven't yet seen, but they're coming. Six of Cups. Make sure you're not overgiving. A lot of times we go all in, and I'm not, and I know I just said go all in, okay? I know I said go all in, open up your heart and be vulnerable. But what I'm talking about now is don't overgive trying to please, trying to um, be yourself and allow space for this person to do for you also. Don't be the one that's doing all of the giving. Make sure that this is mutual. And if you do give, if you do do something, do it out of the kindness of your heart and don't have any expectations. Um, don't do it to like make yourself um, like more valuable because you're already valuable. You are the prize. You are the prize, nobody else. So don't be trying to earn somebody or keep somebody by doing too much. Enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. You are going to have an epiphany. Um, if this hasn't happened already, and you could actually be even maybe getting this from this video, um, but you're going to have um, some sort of enlightenment. Um, something you've been wondering about is going to um, make sense. It's going to be clear to you now. Um, and I have a feeling, you know, like I said, it has to do with this connection that you have with this person. Um, and like I said, it is mutual. If you were wondering if it wasn't mutual, it is mutual. Um, but I feel like it has to do maybe in the way that you saw this person. Maybe you saw them um, um, from your past experiences. Maybe you kind of saw signs or traits or qualities in them that reminded you of someone else. And this has to do with um, your expectations. You're expecting it to be like it's been before. And so be very careful and clear this out because this is a different person. This is not the same person. And you will not have the same experiences if you don't want to. So don't align to them. King of Wands. I was just looking at this picture. He's got a snake balancing on top of his head and he's holding a crown. And I believe this has to do with illusions. Um, illusions are, have you ever like seen something a certain way? And it's especially on like social media, for instance, people create illusions all the time. How many times has somebody tried to like present like on social media that they're so happy or their relationship is so happy or they create this whole illusion that isn't true. You know, and you gotta be really careful on social media because social media is like the king of illusions. Um, the news creates illusions, things that are not true. Um, make sure you're able to see through the illusions. Make sure you see the illusions that people are creating for you and that we even create for ourselves. Make sure you know what's real and what isn't real. And basically the only thing that really is real is love. Everything else is an illusion. Fear is an illusion. Um, we have the incubation card to clarify that. So basically, I feel like there are things going on right now that you can't see. Illusions. Things going on behind the scenes. But, you know, it's almost like this cake is in the oven. Or this baby, you know, is somebody might be pregnant. But I feel like this is like a manifestation. 
that is cooking is still in the oven. It's not done yet. And there's things going on that you can't see, but everything that has happened and is going on is preparing this, is helping to bake this cake that's in the oven. And so you're ask, being asked to be patient. And don't make too much of things right now. Just go with the flow and just enjoy yourself and try not to take things so seriously. That, that literally just came through. Ten of Swords. So, you know, I feel like you've really been in your head, you know, and sometimes when we're in our heads, we can create all kinds of scenarios, all kinds of scenarios. Um, so make sure that, um, you know, you are taking time to rest and meditate and kind of take a break from things. Make sure you're, you have your space. I'm um, trying to clear your mind for at least, you know, 10 minutes at a time. Whatever it is that you're doing, really put all your, your focus and attention and attention into it. Um, because there's a lot of anxiety here that I'm picking up on and a lot of stress. And I really feel like it has to do with you really being worried that things are going to go downhill or things are going to go sour because they have before. You really need to clear that energy out. Um, I'm going to pull one of these self-compassion cards. I'm being divinely guided to pull one. A friend indeed. What would you offer a friend at the end of a hard day that you can offer yourself now? So definitely find some kind of way to provide some self-care, kind of get some peace for yourself, um, some tranquility. Um, try not to worry so much about what's going on in the physical world right now. I know it's hard, <laughs> trust me, trust me, but if you can just tell yourself that everything that's happening right now is happening for a reason, even if you cannot see it, that will help you so much, I promise. Um, well, thank you so much for watching, um, this reading today. If you would like to find out what's blocking you in areas of love, abundance, whatever that you're trying to manifest, um, those personal readings are 40. I'll include my email address in the description of the video and do be sure and stop by and like my new Facebook page. I'll include the link. Thank you for watching.